Welcome to Screen It or Stream It, where we take a look at a video that's currently out in theaters versus one you could stream at home and try to decide which one should you go with. In theaters right now is Kong Skull Island. Kong starts off with a team of scientists in 1973 led by Bill Randa, played by John Goodman, discovering a previously unknown island that had been hidden from view until satellite surveillance comes across it. The scientist, along with a fresh from Vietnam military escort led by Preston Packard, who's played by Samuel L. Jackson, and an ex-British SAS officer, James Conrad, who's Tom Hiddleston's character, fly onto the island under the pretenses of a geological survey. But Bill knows something more awaits them, and boy does there. As soon as they land on the island, the team is attacked by all manner of giant and horrible monsters, and they only have three days to make it to the opposite side of the island to meet their exit crew. On the way, they discover Hank Marlowe, a World War II pilot that had been shot down on the island nearly 30 years before. Hank, who's played by John C. Riley, and the rest of the team spend the movie fighting their way across the island to get to their only means of rescue in order to escape from the island. For our streaming comparison this week, I'm gonna go with Jurassic Park. Lord Richard Attenborough plays John Hammond, a very rich man who had an unusual idea for an amusement park. With DNA found from prehistoric mosquitoes and a little science trickery, mankind was able to bring back the dinosaurs. Hammond basically turned a scientific breakthrough of a lifetime into one giant island dinosaur zoo. The story takes place just before the park is set to open. Hammond's grandchildren, played expertly I might add by Joseph Mazzello and Ariana Richards, come to the park along with several scientists, played by Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum, for a sneak preview to satisfy insurance and safety concerns of the investors. As one would expect, everything goes awry with the caged dinos getting loose and wreaking havoc on the island and its human inhabitants. The characters have to survive a run through the park in an attempt to get back to the main station and escape the island. In comparing Kong to Jurassic Park, there are a lot of similarities. Fighting for survival against giant monsters, being trapped on an island with said monsters, a team of people made up from all different walks of life trying to survive and get off the island, and of course the most important one, Samuel L. Jackson being his awesome self in both. But there are some significant things that make them stand apart. For starters, the themes. Jurassic Park shares the thematic soul of Frankenstein. Don't take out God's tools and play with them or bad things are going to happen. And of course they add in their own little extra comment that life finds a way. As for Kong, it seems to be a commentary of the American military being unprepared for guerrilla warfare. Get it? It's good, right? Guerrilla warfare? No. Sorry. The theme of Kong really is a little harder to pin down, but I say there's maybe two or three different ones. Respect nature because it's bigger and more powerful than us. Sometimes there is no enemy until you go looking for him, which is actually a line said out loud in the movie. And soldiers never get to go home. Not really. In reality, it's probably a blending of all three. Both movies have good and memorable characters spouting plenty of quotable lines and plenty of time for development of those characters. However, this is where Jurassic Park has an edge. There are fewer main characters vying for time and therefore they become much better developed and liked by the end. Kong has some really good characters, but there's just so many of them that the time with them gets divided up and you don't really get to know them as well as you would have liked. Both movies also have really good spectacle and top-notch special effects. Jurassic Park is from 1993 and the CGI in that movie is still some of the best I have ever seen. I was kind of worried going into Kong that it would be cheesy CGI because you know how that can go wrong so quickly, but it really didn't. The effects are just wonderfully done. If amazing action is what you're after, Kong has an edge here. However, the tension that builds between the exciting moments in Jurassic Park makes those violent punctuations much more exciting than the constant barrage of things exploding and giant creatures getting violently smashed. We like violence. <coughs> the crack team here at Screen It or Stream It Studios has come up with a rating and we have decided that Kong should get four out of five stars. Jurassic Park, however, we give five out of five stars. Without a doubt, Jurassic Park is just better. The story is better and more original. 
The character development is fleshed out in greater detail, and the special effects are some of the best ever in a movie. Overall, it really is just a better movie, which makes my recommendation a little bit strange. Screen it. Go see Kong Skull Island in theaters now. It all comes down to one thing, screen size. In a few months, when both are on streaming, Jurassic Park is going to win out, but not right now. Both movies are spectacles to behold for sure, but given the option of Jurassic Park on a small screen versus Kong on a big one, Kong is going to win out. It's a movie that definitely benefits from seeing it in theaters. IMAX would even be better if that's possible in your area, which it is not in ours. A menacing 100 foot tall Kong would just lose something if he were on a cell phone sized screen or even TV sized. So go see it in all its oversized glory while you still can. That's it for this week's screener to stream it. And remember, don't take your kids to the movies on Tuesday nights. That's when we go to the movies.